Hi guys, I've been wondering what's that sound of my car while I'm reversing and I thought maybe it's because my oh, my brake is already worn out and I, um, it might be the, the, the pin or I don't know what you call that uh, clip that lets you know that when your brake is already worn out so now I will try to reverse and you will hear the sound brake that means my brake is already worn out first of all we have to trace your car using a jack you have to put this special key okay then you have to use this uh, 21 millimeter socket so I attach this to my uh, breaker bar first to loosen up forget to use jack stand and don't forget to put the chop here put the chop So once your two jacks are in place, release them slowly. Okay. And again, lift it again, just as a, as a support, just in case your jack stand fail if you have a safety support so this is a 14 millimeter I'll be using my breaker bar first This one is stuck. I guess I have to remove this assembly. Okay, so see. You can see the new one. It's a difference of new one. In seven years, I maximize my break. Using a brake cleaner. And you can also remove the things. Make sure that you buy a brake pad. Yeah. This is also included. This will be a break cleaner. Place this back. Then we could apply this uh, brake lubricant for sil uh, silicon ceramic. And this one only. Because this one has a gasket, I mean a rubber. Not damage the rubber. Okay. Oh, 
Sweet. Get your shims included in your brake pad. Always remember where you get it. So here, the shim goes like this. This tab is on this side. You can see this one. And this one, this one is on the lower side. Like this. Make sure that you press it, and then take your new big pads. So you can see. These two should be on the top. That one and on the other side also. But first we have to put uh, copper anti seize mode. This one will uh, this is anti corrosion and anti seize which will uh, prevent it from sticking. Here and this on the other side here. And maybe here also. And here. of the water so that's fine and also on the other side The next step is to press this. Maybe like, so, use a special tool like this. This is only around maybe I think seven dollars. Little bit, little bit And you can use your old big pad.
one. Okay, and tighten it up. Called the rust weld. So it's easier to do it the next time. You change your brake pad or even change your tire. Oh, I forgot. You have to put this back, this tab here, and also on the other side. First time to remove this tire after seven years. And then we do the star pattern. Then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, once you finish uh, installing a brake pad, what you have to do is turn on your car and uh, engage with your brake just to put the, the position of the brake on the regular, I mean, the normal position of it. And you will feel that your brake will push through, but on your second or third pump, it will become stiff and that means your brake is working fine now. So now let's listen to the squeaking sound if it's still there after it's my brake. I put in the window and then now I'm reversing, turning to the right, and there's no more squeaking sound from the brake. So that's how you fix the problem of a squeaking brake or squeaking sound while you're reversing. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe.